Hello and welcome back. Right. If we're close to the conveyor plant, which is like there. I'm not actually gonna rush my way in that way in there. I'm gonna you know, scope the area out. Deathclaw hand. Oh that's not a good sign. But yeah, I've still got all Coddy's worth with me to lend a hand. Anybody in here? Nope. How do we get in this bus stop? Oh. How does one get in? Ah, I am so blind. So blind. Ooh, a clean black suit. Nice. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, the... There was one thing I like, I always fly, when it comes to like playing games, I love zombie games, don't get me wrong, they're, they're the most fun games I ever play, but the, I reckon, I always think though the problem with these said zombie games is the fact that to a certain extent, you, you know, once you become powerful than zombies, the fun of the game is gone, but then people debate the whole, you know, that's the part of the game, just like, once you're strong enough, zombies won't be a problem no more. And, honestly, I'd pretty much enjoy, like, a walking start, like, like, if this game crossed with Walking Dead. Well, walking Dead is a popular TV show, which is pretty much, essentially, a zombie apocalypse. But... The game would be so so good though to me because of just how much I'd play it. Just surviving this zombie apocalypse, craft, uh, like finding food, weapons, and such. Like if you took the settlement building out of here and put it in like a you know post-apocalyptic world where there's just like a million zombies everywhere and like zombies constantly wanting to eat your face. To me, that'd be fun. And like finding weapons, crafting weapons and such. Alright, I actually saw some on my co oh it's that way. Saw some on the compass, but I couldn't find it. Right, this way. <laughs> this building here. Mystic pack. Aha. Excellent. Permanently get better prices when buying from a vendor. I'm surprised to see anyone reading the book anymore. Military fatigue, they could come in handy instead of the vault suit. A yellow lamp. Yeah, the. Yeah, I mentioned in a few episodes ago that I want to change from having this vault suit. And what I originally wanted. Is an out is an outfit called uh, green shirt uh, combat boots because it has some certain it has a lot of advantages to it. Uh, it's uh, special stat wise. Yeah, a sort of free roaming zombie apocalypse game would be pretty cool. Like, I've been hoping and waiting and waiting to get to Dead Rising 3 on the PS4. Don't think it'll ever happen, but, you know, I'm holding out hope for, for it to be. Same as, like, I couldn't... I hope there's going to be some sort of a new zomb zombie free roam game, which is actually pretty a pretty cool game.
Sweet. You know, to me, zombie games are the best games. But, you know, that's just my opinion. So, like, so certain game companies and stuff won't actually think that's a thing. I had, a, I had a very good watch a few days ago of the multiplayer trailer for Doom. It looks good. It looks very good. Very fast paced, very blood and guts. I'm still contemplating pretty much on getting it, but I'm not super sure. But, either way, a good game's a good game. Alright, that means I've discovered all of Lexington besides the conveyor plant. But I think I'm going to drop my stuff off home before I head that way. I'm going to move my marker over here because I'm going to head that way a little. Even though... Oh, there it is. But yeah. Like, this sort of surrounding, just like six streets. Could be a horde of zombies around any corner type thing. It's like perpetual night time. You know... Uh, the game's so dark, even if you put the brightness to full, the game's still pretty much pitch black. I'm working your way around these streets, like this. You know, I'm like picturing this in my head, but this would actually be pretty creepy. They actually created a mod for Fallout 4, which is called The Darkest Night, I think. And it's pretty much lowers the brightness a lot. So like, night time is pitch black. Hey, Mark. Which I think is it would actually make the game more fun, but in other ways more creepier. Because it lowers the strength of all lights on the game, and even makes the sun not as bright. And you know the whole really dark nights. Even like the pit boy light doesn't allow much light. So it'd be like. Very eerie and creepy at night. But like I said, once we get the Garden of Eden creation kit, it sh well, the amount of mods and stuff should actually explode to life. Especially for console. But in, in my own ideas as well, I don't see how how they're going to easily do this to put mods on console just due to the fact of they're obviously going to be verified mods so like not just any random mods will be allowed on the console on console but on the other hand i wouldn't mind that any strange mods you know i've seen quite a few mods for the Oh crap, I've sat in the chat, I sat in the chat, get off the chair, get off the chair, I heard things. Go away. But yeah, I've heard of plenty of mods for the well PC version, which are like pretty good. Like, I even played them or used them, and I'd pretty much give them a 10 out of 10. Just for what they do to the game without ruining the, you know, the realisticness of the game. To like, as the person I call it, law friendly. To like, follows us. Does the mod actually work with the story of the game? And a lot of mods I've seen actually do still follow the story of the mod, well, of the game. They just make certain items and clothing on the game a lot more realistic and look a lot better. Oh, we got a tool chest. And kaput! 
Okay, that's radiation right there. I see you in the corner of my eye. Please kill it. Here they come. Whoa, what are you? Oh, crap. Rabid mole rat, glowing mole rat. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh. But yeah, with this amount of mods that are on PC right now, I would actually love to have a lot of them on console. But like, not anything that's like game breakingly wise you know like things that uh, well things that are just that overpowered you sh really shouldn't have them or they they really well if they're uh, if you're gonna put them in the game in like real life they wouldn't exist i wouldn't have stuff like that i'd have anything that like makes certain clothes look better but not to the point where you know, it's not realistically possible for them to be in the game. Just to the point of like... You know, they'd be in the game and they could possibly look like that. That's it. No way I'm packing this. Nothing like cozying up to a barrel of nuclear waste. Okay, that was not a I was not able to pick that lock. Why are the children of Atom here? Fuse themselves. Hell yeah. Boys that oh. the tall flat. Ah! And that is a grenade bouquet. Fisty cops. Hit it. Yeah, this weapon has kind of lost its effectiveness. Who are you? Stuck on that. There's a settlement by looks of it down here. <laughs> Grey Garden. Hell yeah. Not your garden variety vermin. Nothing short of a saw. Bring me some milk fruits for seeding, and there'll be caps for your pocket. Off you go then. Okay. Use the handy. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. Hello. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. Nice. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are nice. capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Obviously, the man was brilliant to come up with something like this. I could hardly have said it better myself, darling. Robot.